hello guys welcome back to my channel so a lot of people especially beginners have issues when it comes to reading the measuring tape in this video i'll do my best to break down the reading process so right here i have gone ahead to write out exactly what i have on my measuring tape so i have one two three four five six seven eight eight bars we are not counting zero so my measuring tape Starting from this point right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so on my measuring tape, or I think most people use the same measuring tape like mine. This is in inches, okay? So this bar right here on my measuring tape is read as one eighth of an inch. This bar is read as one quarter of an inch. This is read as three eighths of an inch. This is read as half of an inch. This is read as five eighths of an inch. This is read as three quarter of an inch. This is read as seven eighths of an inch. And this is also read as one. If you notice, the fractions here all have different denominators. This is eight, this is four, this is two. The question that one should ask he or herself is, how come are these values here? Like what brought about their existence? So like I said, I have eight bars right here. But going back to the standard measuring tape, okay, there are supposed to be 16 bars on the tape. So because there are 16 bars on the standard measuring tape, each bar is now over 16. This is 1 over 16, 2 over 16, 3 over 16, 4 over 16, 5 over 16, all the way to 16 over 16. If you notice, the bars that have even numbers have been highlighted. So 2 is an even number, 4 is an even number, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. They are all even numbers. And the reason why I also highlighted them is because these bars that have even numbers are what are on my own measuring tape right here. Now you might be wondering, but I don't see one eighth of an inch, I don't see one quarter of an inch right here, these even numbers. So let's go ahead and do some mathematics, okay? So first of all, we need to know that even numbers are numbers that can be divided by two. And when they are divided by two, they produce an integer. That is a whole number. So to get the fractional values of what I have right here on this version of my measuring tape, we have to do some maths. So when two divides two, we have one. When two divides 16, we have eight. So that is why this bar is known as one eighth of an inch now i'm dealing with only the even numbers okay so when two um, goes into four i have two when two goes into 16 there is eight so there's two over eight right here so when two goes into one again and when two goes into eight again i have one over four that is why this is read as one quarter of an inch so there is 6 over 16 here. So when 2 divides 6, there is 3. And when 2 divides 16, there is 8. That is why this bar, it is called 3 eighths of an inch. Now to the next even number, which is 8 over 16. When 8 divides 8, there is 1. When 8 divides 16, that is 2. So I have 1 over 2 right here. That is why this bar right here is called half of an inch. So the next even number, this is 10. So um, when 2 goes into 10, we have 5. And when 2 goes into 16, there is 8. So there is 5 over 8 here. That is why this bar is um, called 5 eighths of an inch. Here, when 2 goes into 12, there is 6. And when 2 goes into 16, there is 8. And again, when 2 goes into 6, there is 3. And when 2 goes into 8, there is 4. So there is 3 over 4 right here. That is why this bar is called 3 quarters of an inch. Right here, when 2 goes into 14, there is 7. And when 2 goes into 16, there is 8. So that is why this bar, which is what I have here, is called 7 eighths of an inch. That is 7 over 8. Now, to the next even number, this is 16, this is 16. So 16 divided by 16 is a total of 1. You have, you get the whole number, 1. So that is why this bar is called 1. 
So now we've arrived at the values here. One eighth of an inch, one quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch, one over two, which is half of an inch, five eighths of an inch, three quarter of an inch, seven eighths of an inch, and one. So these are the decimal values of each of the fractions on the measuring tape. So one eighth of an inch is 0 0.125, one quarter of an inch is 0 0.25, Three eighths of an inch is 0 0.375. Half of an inch is read as 0 0.5. Five eighths of an inch is 0 0.625. Three quarters of an inch is 0 0.75. And seven eighths of an inch is 0 0.875. So one is a whole number. There is no need to get a decimal value for it. So the reason why I wrote out these decimal values is that sometimes when you divide your measurements in your calculator, it produces these values. So how do you easily identify each value on your measuring tape, okay? So all you just have to do is just practice and just practice and practice and practice and know the value of each of these fractions right here. So if, for instance, this zero is substituted with six like this, okay? So now I have 6.125 right here. So to identify 6.125 on my measuring tape, I'll just go right here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So remember that I said that one eighth of an inch, the decimal value for one eighth of an inch is 0 0.125, okay? And this is 6.125. So this is six as a whole number here. So the first bar right here, which is one eighth of an inch, is what will give you 6.125. So if I'm faced with six, 0.25, I know that it's referring to one quarter of an inch, and one quarter of an inch is the second bar right here. So I'll go to six again, and then the second bar. So this will give you 6.25. So it's the same process all the way to this point. So if, for example, I'm faced with 6.5, so I know one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And then this bar right here is half of an inch, which is here. And the decimal value for half of an inch is 0 0.5. So I have 6.5 right here. So this is 6. Then I'll come to this bar right here. And that is 6.5. So the process continues for the rest of the values. So, so if this video has helped you in any way, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And turn on post notifications for more videos. I'll see you all in my next video.